Y'all, another day here in Hanoi. Now today's video doesn't have any theme, no story. It's just about getting out into the streets and enjoying some good food in Hanoi. Dang, that's insane. From sticky rice, flat iron skillet, dung, goose, prawn fritters, and more, I guess you can say today was a special kind of delicious. It's been a good day for eating. Y'all know it's Max here, and I'm bringing you along with me for another day here in the capital of Vietnam. And of course you gotta start off some sticky rice someday while in Hanoi, and we were stopping at a popular place that is, well, they packed already, so I need to get in here before they sell out. In the back right here, they got people just cooking and cooking and cooking more of the pork belly, the cha, the egg, all the other ingredients you put over that sticky rice. Constantly have to refill that boiling broth. I'll tell you what, it is high pace here. You see the workers, they are just non-stop moving as fast as they can. And all you can hear are people munching. You hear the bowls and the spoons clanking and that is it. Oh my, this looks a little bit sleep inducing. Would you look at that, the thick car? They got the lap sum, which is the Chinese sausage. You got the egg that's just been soaking in that broth that was fried up before. And then you got their cha. And then underneath all that, you got some pate and then the sticky rice. Oh my. Let's do it though. I'm thinking egg, little lap sum, lots of that rice just been soaked in that almost like gravy. I know it's like a broth, but it looks like a gravy, it's so thick. That's insane. That's so rich, so umami packed, so creamy from the egg yolk. You get the bitter and sweetness and the crunch from the Chinese sausage. That sticky rice is warm, slightly chewy. Dang, y'all. I didn't think I'd be doing a dang this early in the morning, but dang. You gotta follow that up with some veg. Oh, just on another level for just indulgence. The key here, everything been in that pot, just sitting there, soaking, marrying, getting to know each other, becoming more and more delicious. Uh, looks so good. That's a ridiculous, I mean ridiculous size piece of thick car. Uh, massive, and then when I dig in, under it is the pate, so it's all pate thick car, uh, which is that braised pork belly. I almost don't want to take a bite because I'm just savoring this moment right now, but I think I will. Let me tell you something. I might be sure to call money bite, but it is game over. Game over. Hands down, one of my top meals in Hanoi. I've taken like four bites and I already know it. It's not too heavy, not too sticky, not too filling because the ingredients are so rich, so decadent, and so hearty that you can't have heavy on heavy. The rice is just a lightness, that slight texture, that warmingness, that just love. The fact that the egg's been fried, you get those little crispy bits. The key component here in the egg factor, though is the Chinese sausage. You need that contrast, the bitterness, the super sweetness, the slight difference in texture to round this out without it. I would be blown away with just how rich and heavy this is. Not to mention, this is Street Food 101, high pace to eat, you get out, you get bikes, cars, buses flying behind me. It's just the environment I know and I love and that I feel most comfortable in. Mm. 
What a fantastic find. Y'all been here 30 years. That whole bowl, everything, only 65. There's a reason they're just turning people over and over and over and over again. Super popular spot, absolutely delicious. That's how you come out the way to eat here. Mm. So nice over here by a lake. See everybody just fishing, relaxing, enjoying this weather. A rare day in Hanoi. Got clouds and a blue sky. We got the breeze. A gorgeous day, but we're about to head to the next spot to eat for a full on, what I do believe is gonna be a duck. Well, for lack of better words, feast. You can get different types of ways, but what I'm gonna do is just get this little skillet and throw it on top. We are gonna cook it up ourselves and then probably get some wit, some blood cakes, bamboo shoots, kind of get the whole spread with it. Two seating sections got one over here and the main one's way over here so I think when they get really crowded they even come out here on the streets to give people some seating. Oops. Take it away. Things happen quick. I got over here in this little corner. These men over here let me participate in a little shot and then the food got out here and I blinked so you can see that texture. I'm just guessing it's lemongrass, but the aroma coming from that, the fresh onions going in that oil, got a ton of herbs, got lots of the bamboo shoots, and got an extra order of blood cake. The combination of the lemongrass with that turmeric all over that hot oil, enticing. I mean, oh, it is just inviting me to get in there and get a bite. off the beginning, give it a dip in the Nook Chum Gung, which is the one loaded with ginger. Just look at that texture. I can't get over all this texture. Wow, a ton, you can just feel the juices explode when you bite into the meat. You feel the oiliness coat your mouth. And what I appreciate is they know how oily of a meal it is, so they just pounded it with as much turmeric and spices and lemongrass as they can. The sweetness, the spiciness of the ginger with the dipping sauce. Good start. Get even more of that flavor in there. They're giving us a Thai basil and the culantro. And dunk in the sauce. It's been a good day for eating. It's amazing to me. That little char from that flat iron skillet and oil. Mm. Come on, come on. My uncles were leaving. Gave me the shot, had to tell them goodbye. Now we are in Hanoi, so I'm gonna do mine like a little jackass style. Gonna get my bowl with the noodles, the herb, and some sauce. That is a ginger, garlic, chili, sauce, salty, heat. Oh my gosh, we on fire. I need some chat app. That's delicious. That slapped me across my face and I like it. I want another. It's so crispy. 
I mean, it's literally so crispy. It's just something completely different. It's a lot of fun to eat. You know, I'm all for like this charred, really hard bottom. They're looking at me like I maybe let it cook a little too long. It's okay. That's how I like it. I blame it on my mom. That's how she would eat it. I wouldn't be surprised to add a little sugar to it. It's got a sweetness to it. Just helping that caramelization factor. All my Vietnamese people know what's up when you get the chopsticks like this. You know you're a pro if you can use them like this. After eating that much, I don't know if I can get out of this little corner. <laughs> Golly, what is up with the day? That is two for two of just like, I would go so far out of my way to eat both of these places. Oh, it just hits all the satisfaction, all the things I want. Good people, working hard. It's worth coming all the way out here for. It's not even that far. Like I said the first time, dang. Okay, we're at the last one for today. We're over on Hangba Road, which is just north of the very, very famous lake that I'm blanking on the name right now. A little bit before 2 p.m. and a little early. She's not quite setting up. She's gonna get her little tank going, get that high heat, some oil, and brine up some bantom. Bantom, that is a soup. Oh, hagao. Bangoi. So this lady opens around two o'clock and she closes about five. She's only open a few hours in the day. I thought you see she got the banton, the little almost like prawn fritter. She thought used the ha gao, which is interesting to me because I didn't know if it's gonna be a sweet cow or what it was gonna be. And at the bottom, oh no. Toi quen mat, I forgot. <laughs> She ain't leaving a nook or a cranny open in this thing. She's gonna fill her up. I don't know if they have this thing in the north. I'm with Mahang, first customer. Go ahead and start off right, get a little bit of everything. Those empanada ones, you gotta push those down, submerge those, make sure they stay in the oil and fry all the way around. Looks like we're gonna have enough for about three or four people. Kind of hard to know where to start. I'm just gonna go with what she's most famous for, her bantom. Like I said, that little prawn fritter. Get her with some of that herb and veg and that little diluted nook chom with the papaya. What I dig and appreciate is she gave that bantom a cut right through the middle and then threw it in the fryer. So it's gonna get that extra crunchification. Get mine with just a little bit of that papaya. Well, looks like I mean I'm gonna get a lot of it. That's really well done. Quite lame. Uh, oh, right. I knew it as soon as I took a bite, that little extra touch of sweetness because she's using quite lame. She's using the sweet potato. Still ultra crunchy at the bottom, not de-shelling the prawns at all. Simply done, but simply delicious. Gotta go for what she called the hog owl. Was that right? Did I hear that right? Hog owl? I think I heard it right. Light, crunchy, not too greasy. It's good. But I really think the bantom is just what you come here for. It's just special. It just got that it back here. Joy, 
And y'all do not kill me on this one, the last one, the Bangoy. Oh man, I'm forgetting, I can't remember anything today. Looks like an empanada on me, it is stuffed full. I'm just looking at this thing and I can just start naming stuff. Class noodle, mushroom, carrot, I'm gonna assume jicama. Oh my gosh, this thing is loaded. I know there's gotta be at least three or four ingredients I'm missing. Oh, it was a big sucker. Yeah, I definitely missed a few ingredients. I mean, it is mushroom, that is earthy, that is umami. There's a big seafood sweetness to it. But really for me, that texture of that dough is just so light, so flaky, so crunchy. Still, Bantom reigns supreme. I think it's easy to tell which one was the best. Just look at my plate. None of the bandong. Not to mention, this is just the experience. I love in my table is an upside down tiny chair. You put the tray on top, make the table. I don't know, just the improvisation. Love it. As if today had not been heavy and decadent enough, some nice little fried goodies to finish us off. Y'all, that was a heavy day. Feeling the heaviness of the Hanoian cuisine. Wow, from the duck, the sticky rice, that pork belly, and now those fried goodies. It may not look like much today, but it sure does feel like it in my stomach. It was a good day, as always. We still got so much more to come from Hanoi. I can't think. What's wrong with me today? I can't think today. Anyways, I'm just gonna sign off. I hope y'all enjoyed it. As always, more special things coming from this city. This is Max. Catch you in the next video. Peace.